Tasmania, a land of wildlife and wonder, the last frontier of an untouched wilderness. Thousands of species evolved to live here in the ancient land that broke away from the Pangaean landmass millions of years ago. However, with the ever increasing encroachment of urban man comes the displacement of a natural habitat leading inevitably to the destruction and sometimes extinction of some native animals. Bonorong Wildlife Sanctuary helps heal and save creatures caught in man's maelstrom of expansion. Like all sanctuaries, they need our help. People like Alex Kearns, world-renowned photographer, donates her time and classic animal photographs to help raise much-needed funds to keep sanctuaries like Bonorong open. Their hopes and dreams of building a wildlife hospital are getting nearer. Alex Kearns and Houndstooth Studio have been an amazing support for us here at the Sanctuary. Um, we didn't know her from a bar of soap and she heard about our project for a 24 hour wildlife vet in Tasmania and in no time at all she offered her time, her skills to come and photograph our very amazing wildlife to raise money for the clinic and look this is a huge project for a small business like us and one that is so badly needed in Tasmania. Uh, given the roadkill issues and uh, the amount of endangered wildlife here uh, the vet hospital is something that should have happened so long ago. Uh, Alex's skills and time are amazing. I've never worked with a photographer like her before. Her ability to capture a shot and in essence to actually capture the personality of an animal is uh, nothing short of amazing and we're just so proud and so lucky to have been involved with Alex and her skills. We're here at Bonnerong Wildlife Sanctuary and we're photographing all their animal residents, as many as we can do, both in a studio and out here in natural light. This is my little wombat friend Lucy. She's one of the rescue babies here. And when she's big enough, she'll be released back into the wild. The personal benefits for us in doing this, or for me personally, I suppose, is just that I get to access these amazing creatures. And the images that we provide to places like Bonnerong and other wildlife sanctuaries basically mean that they have a great set of stock images that they can use to raise awareness and funds for all the projects that they have. Bonnerong in particular is trying to fund the first 24 hour wildlife hospital in Tasmania. We really support that project. There's a desperate need here for a facility which specialises in wildlife where they can come in, be treated and assessed and released as quickly as possible. At the moment there's just nothing in Tasmania like that. Bonnerong though also has uh, Tasmania's only 24 hour wildlife service. So if you do find an injured animal you can ring Bonnerong and they have a thousand carers or rescuers they call them trained up to go and rescue those animals and check you know, dead wallabies for, for young in the pouch and then you know, potentially save those babies as well. So we're doing two types of photography here. We're doing stuff outside, which is the kind of normal animal and wildlife photos that you would see. We're also doing some studio work. And what's special about that for me is, I think there's just nothing distracting in that image. So it's purely about the animal. There, there aren't any trees dropping in or fences or anything like that. And to me, that's just the, the animal in its purest and most simplest and beautiful form. So we're photographing against white and black backdrops. The white, I guess, is just so light and bright and, and cheery. And the black is kind of a little bit darker and just a kind of different effect. And really, it's just all about them. That's all you see and just how beautiful they are. And, and you know, people feel their character through those shots, which is just an amazing thing to do and an amazing way for Bonnerong to get their messages out there about rescue and rehabilitation as well when they use those shots. Photographed Lucy in the studio, got some great shots of her. A little wombat friend of hers called Max, a little baby, even smaller than Lucy. We photographed him too. And just amazing shots and pictures of these animals that people wouldn't normally see, you know, a studio shot of a wombat and from the angle and, and the way that the shot's taken, the reaction to those pictures is just so heartfelt. So I can't wait to get some out there and see what people think and help Bonnerong raise some money. Lucy's just doing a face slide down the hill. She's in a <laughs> cheeky mood today and she's had a wombat massage this morning, which is a skill that I just learned. Look, there she goes, she loves it. Little bum scratch there. 
<laughs> and she's just very cheeky and adorable. And uh, she's uh, my little co-host this morning. Your face, your face. 
יופי Fantastic. I'd like to thank Bonnerong for having us. <laughs> thank God, Lucy. Thank Lucy for biting me and jumping around. Good girl.